The morning star always gets a wonderful bright the minute before it has to go. Well, now, I'll show you how our town lies. Up here is Main Street, and coming <coughs> across it over there, to the left, are the railroad tracks. Across the tracks is Polish town. You know, foreign people that come here to work in the mill. A couple of Catholic families and the Catholic Church. The Congregational Church is over there, and the Presbyterians across the street. Methodist and Unitarian <coughs> over there. Baptist is down in the hollow by the river. Up and right next to the post office there is the town hall. The jail is in the basement. And uh, Brian wants me to speak from those steps over there. Up along Main Street there are a row of stores. And, uh, hitching posts and horse blocks in front of them. First automobile is going to come along in about five years. Belong to Banker Cartwright, our uh, town's richest citizen. He lives up in the big White House up there on the hill. And right here is our grocery store and Mr. Morgan's drug store. <coughs> Most everybody in town manages to look into these stores at least once a day. And this right here is our doctor's house, Doc Gibbs. This is the back door. And this is Mrs. Gibbs' garden. Corn, peas, beans, hollyhocks, heliotrope, and a lot of burdock. In those days, our newspapers came out twice a day, twice a week, and uh, the Grover's Corner Senator, as it was. And this is Editor Webb's house. And this is Mrs. Webb's garden. Just like Mrs. Gibbs's, only it's got a lot of sunflowers in it. And right here is a big bug. Now it's town, you know what I mean. Nobody very remarkable ever came out of it, as far as we know. The earliest dates on the uh, cemetery up there say uh, 1670. There are Grovers and Cartwrights and Gibbses and Hershey's. Same names as around here now. Well, as I said, it's early morning. And uh, the only lights on in town are across the river, where a Polish mother has just had twins. And, let's see, in the Joe Crowall house, where Joe Jr. is getting ready to uh, deliver the morning paper. Oh, and in the depot where Shorty Hawkins is uh, getting ready to flag the 545 for Boston. And uh, naturally out in the country, uh, lights have been on for quite some time, what with milking and so on, but uh, town folk would like to see it. <coughs> oh, here comes Doc Gibbs coming down Main Street, coming back from that baby case. Doc Gibbs died in 1930. Uh, the new hospital's named after him. <coughs> and uh, his wife died before him. <coughs> actually a long time ago. She went to go visit her daughter, Rebecca, who married a rich lawman in Canton, Ohio, where she uh, developed and got pneumonia. She died there, but uh, her body was brought back here. And she's all up there now with all those Gibbses and Herseys. She was Julia Hersey before she married uh, Dr. Gibbs over in the Congressional Church over there. And uh, as you can see, in our town, we, uh, we like to know the facts about everybody. <coughs> 